You might want to think twice before you idle your car in Liberty Lake. The city recently passed a resolution declaring itself a no idle zone. KXY 4's Tanya Dahl explains why the city won't enforce the idea. This is where the idea for that resolution was born. On a normal school day, parents are parked here, idling in their cars, dropping off and picking up kids. That's why signs are around town like this, to encourage less pollution. A no idle zone movement is underway in Liberty Lake. A no idle zone specifically addresses what uh, we all know to be true. Vehicle exhaust basically is a leading cause for air pollution. The city recently passed a resolution asking residents and visitors to do less of this. If you find yourself stopped in a running car for longer than 30 seconds, you're asked to turn it off and it's entirely voluntary. I certainly understand, like in the school zones, trying to keep the air a little cleaner for the children. City officials say when a car drops and picks up kids at school, it dumps three pounds of pollution into the air per month. That's why the city wants to clean up the air citizens breathe. This keychain is not a keychain, it's a guilt chain. This is supposed to be uh, somebody that just reminds you it's no idle zone. We stumbled across a few offenders in a parking lot and idling away at traffic stops and drive throughs including Colby Frieden, eating lunch in his air-conditioned car. When it's 90 degrees out, I need my air conditioning going or I'm going to roast to death. In theory, drivers we spoke to say it's a good idea. But then there's reality. With gas prices the way they are, you know, I can't afford to do that at every stoplight or at every drive through I go to. It's really ridiculous. Again, this sign and the idea, it is voluntary. So if drivers decide that they want to idle, it's entirely up to them. Police can't ticket you. Reporting from Liberty Lake, Tanya Dahl, KXLY4.